Formula One cannot go full electric. Our license is exclusive on electric, so we are protected in that sense. There were no cars, there were no electric racing cars. We had no cities to host the races. We had no sponsors. We had no TVs to broadcast the championship. Most difficult, we had no money. But we had a very strong idea. Hello. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for inviting me here at uh, Oxford. It's a great honor to be here. Technology is changing. And mainly there are three areas of technology that are going to be the key areas for the revolution, which are electric, so obviously all the cars are going to be electric one day, connected, connectivity is really an element that is going to change the industry, and the third element is uh, driverless. Basically one day all the cars in the world will be electric and most of the cars in the world will have no driver. Everyone will have electric cars. Combustion will be something from the history books. I mean, we are breathing all this smoke all the time in the cities where we live. Nobody thinks now that I could smoke a cigar here. You think I'm crazy if I start smoking a cigar. But it's the same situation when we go in the street in London. We're breathing smoke left and right. So that moment, that transition, that revolution will come and everything at the heart of the revolution is going to be the electric powertrain. You said that both cars can become all electric. So Formula One cars can become electric. Do you see Formula E and Formula One competing or merging? Formula One cannot go full electric. Our license is exclusive on electric. So we are protected in that sense. What's the lifetime of your batteries? How many races do they last? They can do two years and then we refresh them and they can do another two years. So about four years, so it's a lot. After that, the racing cycle is finished, but they still have a lot of life. We're basically using them for energy storage. We're planning to give them to schools with solar panels and then they can store energy and use them in the night. And then Williams, at the end of the life, they can recycle 99% of the battery. Thank you very much. It was really amazing and um, the talk was really interesting. I think it's got me really excited about Formula E and it's something I'm quite interested in going into. I feel like it's going to be the new growing area and I think it's really exciting that it's starting so early and that people are really interested in expanding the electric technology. It was very inspirational, I think. I'm a computer scientist and I like the, the overlap that um, Formula E is bringing. I initially thought of studying engineering, uh, went into computer science and I quite like the merge of these fields as time goes on. I think electric cars are going to be the future. There will be a parallel between the new developments in Formula E and things we see on the roads every day, and I think that's really exciting. I think it would be great to have some new technology that everybody can use. For us in Formula E, it's very interesting and important to have a dialogue with students like this who can give new ideas, a new way of thinking, of looking at things for the championship. I think Formula E needs to evolve all the time, needs to innovate, and we have to be open to the opinions of people from, uh, from outside. I think today in Oxford you could really see that you were with engineers. They were focusing on the battery problem, they were really asking questions about how we're going to be able to break that challenge, which is a really big challenge of Formula E and of electric cars in general and of phones and of everything, which is to store more energy in a, in a battery. We're working with Williams obviously on this, we are preparing a tender on year 5 for a new battery. I think Formula E can play a key role in developing new batteries which will really improve the electric road cars. Uh, my first memory uh, is, is hard to remember, you know, uh, it's a bit of a blur, you don't remember exactly what came first, but uh, probably uh, playing with my dad uh, in the garden, playing soccer.